Hello and welcome back to the Sports Sermon. I'm Dylan Staggy. I'm Jason Gagne. I'm Zach Munson. And I'm Dan Majors. And today we are back to talk about the Houston Texans. What is next for them? So, let's get right into last year first off. They started 6-3 and three and finished 9-7. and seven. Uh, Lamar Miller and DeAndre Hopkins were solid, but the big thing was quarterback Brock Osweiler. He struggled mightily, and they found a replacement for him, giving up a first and second rounder to get rid of Brock Osweiler and then acquire the first rounder to get Deshaun Watson to replace him this year. That's just how bad he was. Their defense really carried them to that 9-7 and seven record and missed out on the playoffs. Or no, they did make the playoffs. My bad, my bad. Yeah, they, they did make the playoffs, record. but Trust me, I didn't, didn't, get that one. didn't Connor, really do. Uh, Connor, Connor. Yeah, they did get a playoff win <laughs> thanks to Derek Carr's Connor. injury. My favorite player coming out of the draft. Anyway, let's go into the depth chart, right? Yeah. All right, offensively, the Houston Texans, little change of quarterback. They got Deshaun Watson leading the charge with Tom Savage and Brandon Whedon behind it. Running back, Lamar Miller, Deontay Foreman, and Alfred Bloom. Receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, Bill Fuller, Jalen Strong, Braxton Miller. Tight end, C.J. Fedorowicz. 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 And then their all line is average. Looking at the offensive group, quarterback, I think he'll be good in a few years, not this year. Running back, I like Deontay Foreman a lot. I think he'll be someone that can really be a change of pace back for Lamar Miller. Receiver, I like Hopkins, like Fuller. Miller and Strong are just, in my opinion, nothing special. And how do you say it? F- Fedorowicz. Fedorowicz is just okay. I think they get upgrade there. O line led by Dwayne Brown, Nick Martin. But yeah, really it for the offense. Is Deshaun Watson? Is he going to be the starter? Like, is he for sure starter? I'm no, I'm not. Right. Right. I, I heard. I heard no, I heard Coach Brown said Tom Savage is starter until he gets injury or inefficiency. I think by training camp, the fans are going to. Right, I think they should start because you cannot. They, they, they give up. They give up too this much. This is the way look You give up your first rounder. You can't afford to lose games. Right, they give up. The, you better if you yeah. give up your first rounder. You you better make the playoffs. They give up too and much. And you go start off zero and three, zero and four. Oh crap! Now we got to put in Deshaun Watson. Now you've already got four games. Now you're already losing draft draft spot. So I think it's got to be Watson. Go all in if you're going to go all in. Don't go. I'm in. I'm out. I'm in. I'm out. Go all in and see what's going to happen. I mean, is Watson the guy though this year? Do you think he has to be? You just traded your first round for him. Yeah. No, I, I, in my opinion, do you he think ha- like there's no choice? He can. Do no, it, I don't. But I think he has to be. There, you cannot bench a guy. Like even if he go, if he starts off only thirteen. Play him out the rest of the year because you just gave up your first round pick for him, so he better be playing the whole year. In All my right, opinion. now let's move to the other side of the ball for the Texans, the defense, the part that really carries them. The defensive line, they got a very solid defensive line led by J.J. Watt and Jadavian Clowney. At linebackers, Whitney Merciless, uh, Brian Cushing, not much else besides that. At cornerback, they got Kareem Jackson, Kevin Johnson, and Jonathan Joseph leading the squad. Uh, they did lose A.J. Bouye, though. And not much at all at safeties, led by K.J. Dillon and Andre Howe. So their secondary is going to struggle a little bit this year, losing A.J. Bouye, and not too great at the safety position. But their front seven, again, is going to be very solid. Uh, the Texans on the defensive side will be solid this year. Dylan, let's throw it over to our special teams guru in Van Majors. Well, Texans looking pretty average for a special teams this year. Shane Leckler at punter, Nick Novak at kicker, Akeem Hunt returning kicks, and the explosive Will Fuller returning punts. All right, so let's move into the schedule now. We're going to go game by game and predict every win and loss for the Texans. So let's start it off with Jason. Jason really wants to go in week one. What do you think the Texans do versus the Jaguars? You know, I don't know if you guys know how much I like the Jaguars, but I like them a lot. And so I think the Jaguars blow them out to start off the year. Deshaun Watson really struggles. I actually have uh, the Texans winning this one. I feel like their defense um, will carry them, especially at home. That's why I have them winning. Um, so, yeah, this will be A.J. Boye's homecoming where he gets to go against um, DeAndre Hopkins, who he uh, played in practice. But uh, I think he'll tear him up. I think the Texans also win this game at a home game. And even though... I, I'm not a huge believer in Deshaun Watson. I think he's better than the Jaguars' defense. So I have a win in week one for the Texans. I have the Jaguars in this one. I think. Yeah, Dan, hey! <sighs> I think Deshaun Watson will struggle in his first week. All right, week two at the Bengals. Dan, that's your team. I like the Bengals winning against the rookie quarterback. Still struggling to find his groove in week two. 
Yeah, I also have the Bengals winning this one. I think, you know, Andy Dalton to A.J. Green combination is too much. I have a win for the Texans again in Week 2. I think they uh, their defense will carry them. Uh, average offense in the Bengals, and the defense really helps get the win versus the Bengals. I've got the Bengals in this one. I think Texas defense will uh, do well, but not. Week 3 at the Patriots, lost, not close. Watson really struggles. Yeah, I also have the Patriots winning this one. Not much to say, just you're playing against greatness. Yeah, Watson will get destroyed win for the Patriots, especially at the Patriots. I've got the Patriots, not close. Week 4 versus the Titans, a team I'm also pretty high on. I have them losing again. Now Watson is 0-4. I have the Texans winning this one to go 2-2. Two and two. I think they'll get the win at home. I have them losing this one, but also a 2-2 two and two record. Uh, Titans, Mariota too much and tears up the Texans' bad secondary. I've got the Titans in this one. I think Mariota will do great. Week 5 against the Chiefs. I also have another loss. Now 0-5 for the Texans. Yeah, I, I have the um, Texans losing this one. I think the Chiefs' defense will be too much warm. I also have a loss for the Texans. Uh, Chiefs' defense, again, going to play pretty solid uh, versus Watson. Uh, Texans won't score too much and get the loss. Uh, I think the Chiefs will dominate and the Texans will not score many points. Week 6, home for the Browns. I give them their first win finally, and they get a win going into the bye week. Yeah, I also have the Texans winning against the Browns. I mean, the Browns are just trash right now. I just don't see how the Browns and Bulls went off. Yeah, home game for the Texans. I think Watson plays well, and the Texans get the win. I've also got the Texans in this one. As John said, it is normally a bye week when you play the Browns, so back-to-back bye weeks for the Texans. Uh, all right, so they got the bye week, and then you go at the Seahawks in week eight. Another blowout. Um, I have the Seahawks easily winning this one, especially at the Seahawks at the 12th man. Um, I think Watson really struggles in this one. Yeah, Watson struggles against that great defense in uh, Seattle. At Seattle, going to be a rough one for Watson and the boys. Yeah, it'll be very tough for the Texans. I've got the Seahawks. All right, week nine, home for the Colts. I think that the Texans pull this one out, getting their second win of the season against the struggling Indianapolis Colts. Struggling? What? They're not good. Watch the podcast. I have been struggling at this point. That's why I said struggling. I have the Colts winning this one. Um, I think the Colts go on the road and uh, get the W. I think think Andrew Luck will severely outplay Deshaun Watson. I think the Texans win this one at home. I... I do like the Colts this year, but I think the Texans split with them, get the one at home. I'll agree with Dylan. I think the Texans win this one, and they will split. All right, week 10 at the Rams. I like another win for the Texans, getting their first two-game winning streak of the season, putting them at 3-6. and six. Yeah, I think the Texans will win this one. Um, I think Deshaun Watson will outplay Jared Goff, and their defense will play great. Yeah, the Texans' defense, I like them against Jared Goff. They do travel to Los Angeles, but I think the Texans get the win. We got the Texans in this one. I think the defense will dominate. All right, week 11, home for the Cardinals. I have a loss for the Texans. I think the Texans get back to their losing ways. Um, I have the Cardinals winning this one. Um, the Cardinals had a down season last year, but they, they have the talent to bounce back. I think it'll be a close game. But I think Carson Palmer will, out, will outduel Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I also have the Cardinals win here. I think their offense is just enough. I think they will struggle a little bit against the Texans' defense, but will ultimately pull out the win. I've got the Cardinals in this one. A uh, solid playoff team against a not playoff team. All right. <laughs> uh, week 12 at the Ravens. I have another loss, and I don't think it's close. I think Joe Flacco tears apart the Texans' defense. Uh, this matchup will be between two great defenses, but I'm going to give the edge to the experienced quarterback in Joe Flacco, who will lead the Ravens to a victory on the road. I'm at home. I don't like the Ravens at all this year, so I'm going to take a win for the Texans as they travel to Baltimore. Uh, their defense is kind of old and washed up by now. I think Watson has a good game. I've got the Ravens in this one. I think the Texans' defense will do well, but not do enough on the road. All right. Week 13 at the Titans. 
Another loss for the Texans. Yeah, I have a loss for the Texans. I think at Tennessee, Mariota will play great. So I got the Titans winning this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also have a, a loss for the Texans here. Titans going to be a solid squad this year. I like them at home. I've got the Titans in this one. I don't think it'll be close. All right. Week 14 versus the Niners. They get their last win of the season for me. I think they beat the Niners. Yeah, I got the, the Texans winning this one. Uh, the four Niners are rebuilding right now, and I think that the Texans defense will dominate while we're starting for the Texans for this point. By week number three for the Texans now at home versus the Niners, get the win. I also got the Texans in this one. It could be close since the Texans aren't going to do very well this year, but Texans. All righty, week 15 at the Jaguars. I think I've made it pretty clear if the Jaguars are going to win this one. Yep, I got the Jaguars winning this one, especially since it's on the road for the Texans. I got Blake Bortles winning this one. Yeah, I'm going to give a win to the Jaguars. I don't love them. But I will take them as the Texans are on the road. I've got the Jaguars in this one. I already took them on the road, so I think I'll take them at home. All right, week 16, home for the Steelers. I go loss. Yeah, I have the Steelers winning this one. That trio of Le'Veon, Antonio Brown, Big Ben is too much. Yeah, not really a competition here. Steelers going to be great again this season. Texans, not really. Steelers... Offense will dominate this one. I've got Pittsburgh. All right, week 17 at the Colts. Don't worry, Colts fans. I have the Colts getting a win here, putting the Texans at 4 and 12. Yeah, I got the Colts winning this one, especially on the road for the Texans. I think Luck will play great in this game, and I that, that's a final record of 5 and 11 for the Texans. Yeah, I think the Colts will be fighting for a playoff spot. It is at home, and the Colts get the win. I have them at 7 and 9. Out of the Colts winning this one, they will split with Houston. I see. So yeah, I have four and twelve. What do you have? Oh, uh, Dylan. Damn, what you, Dylan. Sorry. What do you have? Man? I have seven and nine. Um, five and eleven. Yeah. So really, none of us are big on the Texans this year. So that kind of goes into our headline. My headline for the Texans was what the hell? They traded their first rounder to Cleveland. And I have zero confidence in the Texans this year. So, yeah, what the hell were the Texans thinking? My headline is Savage Season. Um, obviously, there's a QB battle between Tom Savage and Sean Watson. Bill O'Brien has said that Savage is a starter until he, he gets injured or inefficient play. But they gave up so much to get, to get Watson. When will Watson start? He needs to start sooner or later so they know what they have in him. Um, I think Savage will be the worst QB in the division, as well as Watson. Um, yeah, that's my headline. All right, so we talked about Deshaun Watson, a young quarterback, a lot. So let's move into our top five for today, the top five quarterbacks under 25 currently. So let's start off at number five. Jason, who do you have? I went Teddy Bridgewater. I think he can recover from his injury. So I like Teddy Bridgewater as my number five quarterback. I also had Teddy Bridgewater. Um, kind of got screwed last year uh, getting injured. Um few weeks before the season but I think he'll bounce back yeah obviously the injury with Bridgewater showed a lot of potential before and I like him to have a solid career but not anything super special I'll, I'll have him at number five number four I went Carson Wentz uh, the red-headed rifle it was a, it was originally Andy Dalton's name but it not, still is no it's not <laughs> he's becoming relevant so I think Wentz what? is going to be the <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Wentz is coming in, the red rifle. And I think he, I think the Eagles would be good this year. Once we get into our NFC East, I'm telling you, the Eagles have a lot of pieces with LeGarrette Blount, Alshon Jeffrey, and Carson Wentz. Watch out for the Eagles. Okay. Uh, for I also have Carson Wentz uh, coming from a small town in North Dakota. Now he's an NFL quarterback. Um, he played great this season. Uh, severely outdueled his counterpart in Jared Goff, although we struggled with accuracy. Um, once again, he, he did outplay Jared Goff. I got him at four. That makes three of us twice in a row. Uh, Wentz at four for me. He'll have a better season uh, once uh, he has some better weapons coming in next year, like Jason mentioned, uh, like Eric Blunt, Alshon Jeffrey. Eagles will be solid. All right, I think the rest of the three are pretty consistent throughout 
With Dak Prescott at three, Mariota at two, and Winston at one. Yeah. That's what I have, too. <laughs> yeah, Jameis <laughs> definitely the best one out of the group. I think Jameis has potential to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league in a few years. So yeah, yeah, I like the Bucks as a playoff team this year. I do, too, okay. actually. So, all right. That sums up this uh, – sorry, this preview. We're taking a bit, little bit of a break. I'm going on vacation. I'm not sure what you guys are planning on doing, so I'll let Dylan take over what's going in with the schedule and then to close this out. Yeah, we're going to try to do some more NBA What's Next, maybe a little bit of NBA draft uh, post that this week. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see that. Hit like if you enjoyed this video, and follow us on Twitter um, to see every time we post a new video or a new article. So thank you guys for listening, and we will see you soon.